Now guys, in this video we are going to write the code for the movement crouch. So, let's get started. I have some comments here. I renamed the script moves player to player movements. Also, name the scene like level 1. Another thing I did, I put comments about the variables, just to know where we are using these variables. Let's create a bool variable is crouching. After, in the method update, we will write the conditions to change the animation crouch. Now, we are going to use input get button to ask if the press button is crouch. Also, we need to know if the player is not moving with the horizontal and vertical variables, asking if both variables are equal zero. Then, we have to set is crouching variable in true and here we are going to set the bool parameter is crouching also in true with the animator variable to start the animation. We can use is crouching variable. Afterward, we are going to type another condition to return the animation asking if input get button up was crouch then set is crouching variable in false and also the bool parameter is crouching to stop the animation we have to add one condition in the fixed update method this is to not move the fighter player while the animation crouch is active let's type if vertical is different to zero or horizontal is different to zero and is not crouching, then move the player. Now we have some issue here, the input crouch doesn't exist, so we have to create it. Click on Edit, Project Settings, Input. Here we have all the inputs predefined by Unity. You can create yours. We have to duplicate this one and customize it. We rename it like crouch and set the button as C that it's going to use as crouch. Now we have our crouch button. And I have another issue here, the player starts crouching, we have to change one condition in the update method. Instead of OR, we have to put AND in the condition that says, if input get button crouch, OR vertical and horizontal are equal zero. And that's all, test it just to see that everything is ok. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.